The first question on car safety reads, seat belts are useful in a crash. They help keep passengers in their seats. This can reduce their injuries. So what happens to the length of a driver's seatbelt in a crash? So for one mark, you should know that the seatbelts actually stretch. The, the length of the driver's seatbelt increases. And how can the seatbelt help reduce injuries in a crash? So use ideas about energy in your answer. So for one mark, they're basically asking you to recall this sentence here where crumple zones, seat belts, and airbags all change shape on impact to absorb energy. This reduces the risk of injury to people in the car. If you want to be fancy, you could also give higher tier answers, which is any one of these bullet points here, where stopping forces increased in a collision can be reduced by increasing the stopping or collision time or increasing the stopping or collision distance. So basically these two or this about safety is very important. Uh, this next question on terminal speed is basically testing your knowledge on two sections of the revision guide. Uh, the first one is this one here on frictional forces, where uh, frictional forces such as drag, friction, and air resistance can act against the movement of the object slowing it down, as shown in the diagram where the truck's got more air resistance than this Nissan 350Z. So the other section is, is all of this page here, but it's been summarized in these three sentences here under the higher tier section. So basically, you just need to memorize these three sentences, but you need to understand these three sentences through the rest of the information on this page, where at higher speeds, falling objects experience more drag. So if you increase the area of the object that's facing downwards, you increase the drag. The terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object. So if you look at the exam question, Steph's car has a maximum driving force of 3000 N. Its top speed is 100 miles per hour. She puts a roof box on the car. This affects the maximum speed. Look at the diagram of the car and its forces at different speeds. So we're told that at 60 miles per hour, with its maximum driving force, there's a 1000 N drag resistance. Then at its maximum speed of 100 miles per hour, 3000 driving force, there's 3000 N of drag resistance. Then the maximum speed with the roof box is 80 miles per hour with 3000 N drag resistance. Okay, so the maximum terminal speed is different when Steph uses the roof box. Explain why. So basically, you're being asked to explain why roof boxes on cars increases air resistance. And using this concept here, instead of a free falling object, it's the same concept. So instead of like falling vertically, it's basically driving with resistance horizontally. At higher speeds, falling objects increase more drag. Okay, that doesn't really apply to the question that we're doing now. And if you increase the area of the object that's facing downwards, you increase the drag. That applies to the question that we're doing now and the terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object. That too also applies to our question. So if we go to our question, for the three marks, you need to talk about these three things. Where in your answer, use ideas about the terminal speed, the drag force, and the driving forces. So basically for one mark, the first thing you need to say is that the roof box increases drag resistance. One mark. This lowers the overall terminal speed. That's the second mark. And the final mark is, terminal speed is when the driving force and the drag resistance are equal. Basically, where the two forces are balanced, and that's the third mark. And those are three points that you basically need to mention to get the three marks. And the next exam question on car safety reads, Cars have safety features. In a crash, an airbag inflates and the driver hits the bag. This reduces injuries. Explain how this reduces injuries by completing the sentences. So choose your answers from the list of the four words, and each word can be used once, more than once, or not at all. So when the driver collides with the airbag, the force is spread over an increased area of his body. The driver's energy is absorbed by the airbag. And we know this because over here, crumple zone seat belts and airbags all change shape on impact to absorb energy. This reduces the risk of energy to the people in the car. So the question that continues, the driver's collision stopping time is increased. And we know this because of the higher tier section here, where it says increasing the stopping or collision time. See, the stopping forces experienced in a collision can be reduced by increasing the stopping or collision time, increasing the stopping or collision distance. So the exam question then continues. The driver's collision stopping distance is also increased. The acceleration of the driver is reduced in the collision. And we know this because, as what we've just seen, decelerating. So just like that, four marks. So these next questions are also about terminal speed. And it reads, uh, this question is about air resistance or drag. Look at the diagrams. So we got a shuttlecock and a tennis ball. So Sally drops these two objects from a very high building look at the graph of how their speeds change. So the tennis ball is obviously traveling faster than the shuttlecock. So why does the shuttlecock slow down more quickly than the tennis ball? So for one mark, you're being asked about your understanding here. Badminton shuttlecocks increase air resistance so they travel slowly. So the question is asking you why. And then they're basically asking for this higher tier section answer here on terminal speed, where it says, if you increase the area of the object, you increase the drag. So therefore, to answer the question, Basically, the shuttle clock has more air resistance than the tennis ball because it has a larger surface area. 
then the question then continues to ask after a short time the shuttlecock falls at a terminal speed the forces on the shuttlecock cause it to reach terminal speed explain why for one mark basically you need to understand what terminal speed is and you should know the terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object and that is the same sentence that you would write to get the one mark so basically the forces on the shuttlecock cause it to reach terminal speed because the drag resistance equals the weight so sally cut some feathers from the shuttlecock this increases its terminal speed suggest why uh, for one mark, basically, if the feathers are removed, there's less surface area and therefore less drag resistance, allowing the terminal speed to increase. Basically, a play of words on the principle of if you increase the area, you increase the drag. So therefore, if you decrease the area, you decrease the drag, increasing the terminal speed. So the next question is about car safety. So if we zoom in, cars have safety features to reduce injuries in a crash. So look at the diagram of the crash. So a car goes straight into a brick wall, pointing to crumple zone. So how does the crumple zone reduce injuries in a crash for two marks? So you got to state two points and they're basically asking you to recall the sentence here where it reads crumple zone seatbelts and airbags all change shape on impact to absorb energy. This reduces the risk of energy to the people in the car. So basically regurgitate these two sentences as they are to get the full two marks. Going back to the exam question. This is just basically a quick one mark question revising the topic of stopping distance. So when a car moves faster, it has more kinetic energy. Look at the information in the table. The braking distance increases with speed, okay, as shown. So describe in detail the relationship between speed and the braking distance. Use the numbers in the table to help you. As you can see, with increasing speed, you've got increasing braking distance. And that's all you got to say to get the one mark. Basically, explain what you see. More speed equals more braking distance. Okay, so this question is testing your knowledge about terminal speed, which is basically this page of the revision guide, and more importantly, these three sentences here. So just a quick revision at higher speeds falling objects experience more drag if you increase the area of the object that's facing downwards you increase the drag so the terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object so now let's look at the question jane has a parachute she jumps from an airplane at first her speed increases look at the diagram okay so what happens to the drag force as she accelerates for one mark well the drag force increases as she accelerates eventually she reaches terminal speed explain why she reaches terminal speed write about forces in your answer she reaches terminal speed, basically they're asking for the definition of what terminal speed is for the one mark. And basically you would write the terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object. Basically you would say that her drag resistance equals her weight. So at terminal speed, Jane has kinetic energy. As she falls, her potential energy gets less. Explain what happens to the potential energy. Well, basically the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And that's it for three marks. So for one mark, you're being asked to describe what happens to the kinetic energy at terminal speed. So choose from the list for one mark. And basically, if we recall this section here, terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object. So if the drag is equal to the weight, there's no acceleration. There's a constant speed. So if everything is constant, the kinetic energy remains constant. And that's all you need to say for the one mark. So the next question reads, when Dali swims, there are forces acting on him. Two of these forces are a forward swimming force and a backwards drag force. So force making him go this way and force making him go this way. So the question asks, what can you say about the size of these forces as Dali increases his speed? So for one mark, if his speed is increasing, then surely this force must be greater than this force. So we would say that the swimming force is greater than the drag force in order for Dali to be increasing in his speed. One mark. So what can you say about the size of these forces when Dali is at a steady speed? So for one mark, steady speed, well, steady speed would suggest that he's not going any faster this way, nor is he going any faster this way, So because he's steady. So if he's steady, therefore, the forces going this way and this way must be equal. So we'd say the swimming force and the drag force, both forces are balanced. So the next question on car safety reads, Modern cars have safety features fitted to help reduce injuries. They have crumple zones at the front. The crumple zones absorb energy in a crash. Look at the graphs from two test crashes. So the old car shows this graph and the modern car shows this graph. So the modern car has a better crumple zone. Give two reasons how a crumple zone reduces injury in a crash. So for two marks, one mark for each reason that you list. So the first thing we can see, the obvious difference is the amount of time it takes to come to rest. Uh, basically, the modern car increases the collision time. So that's the first point you can say. And we know that because, as mentioned here, if we zoom in, the stopping forces experienced in the collision can be reduced by increasing the stopping or collision time. So if we go back to the question, increasing the collision time is one point, 
And as we know from speed time graphs that the area under the graph is actually telling you the distance traveled. So as you can see from the area for this triangle is much area for this triangle. Not if you're increasing the collision time, you're also increasing the collision distance. So therefore one mark for the collision time and one mark for the collision distance. As mentioned here, one mark for increasing the collision time, one mark for increasing the collision distance. And you can't say um, this point for the mark where it says crumple zones, seat belts, and airbags all change shape on impact to absorb energy. This reduces the risk of injury to the people in the car because the question tells you the crumple zone absorbs energy in a crash already. So don't just simply regurgitate blindly. Read the question carefully to know what to regurgitate and when. So here we have yet another question on terminal speed. And it reads, Rosalind drops a ball from the edge of a cliff. Look at the drawing. So the ball will reach its terminal speed. Explain how the ball reaches its terminal speed. In your answer, use ideas about forces and speed. Two marks to state down two points. So first we must recall the definition. Terminal speed occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object. So you'd write that and basically you'd go on to explain that. This is when the two forces are balanced, resulting in a constant speed. And this constant speed is the terminal speed. So next question, at the terminal speed, the kinetic energy of the ball is at its maximum. The potential energy of the ball is decreasing. What happens to this potential energy? Uh, for one mark, if the potential energy is decreasing, then the kinetic energy must be increasing. So basically, the potential energy is being converted to kinetic energy. So moving on to the next question on car safety, it reads, There are large forces in a high-speed crash. Airbags change shape in a crash and absorb energy. This reduces the forces on the driver. Explain how airbags reduce the forces in a collision. And in your answer, use ideas about speed, acceleration, and time for two marks. Right, whenever it comes to um, safety questions and about collision, what should come to mind is basically this two points first, where it increases the stopping time or increasing the stopping distance. Because if the time is increased, the distance before you come to a rest will also increase. So basically, stopping time, stopping distance is the same thing. So both of them will increase. So the next question, some safety devices make driving safer. They do not reduce injury in a crash. Adjustable seating is one of these safety devices. Explain how this makes driving safer. Uh, it's just a general idea that if you can adjust your seatbelt, you don't get distracted. So if you're not distracted and worrying about your seatbelt, you can concentrate, you know, keep your eyes on the road, basically. It's just that general idea that they're looking for. Yet another terminal speed question where it reads, Dina drops a twig from a high bridge. When it hits the ground, it is traveling at its terminal speed. So the twig increases in speed when it is dropped. Explain why. Because the weight force is greater than the drag resistance. So basically, if it's increasing speed, basically this force going this way must be greater than the force making it go that way. Just testing on whether you understand why things increase in speed is because the force in one direction is greater than the force in the opposite direction. So in this case, the twig increases in speed because the weight is greater than the drag. The twig travels at a terminal speed before it hits the ground. Explain why. It's because before it hits the ground, you're basically defining what terminal speed is, which we know occurs when the drag is equal to the weight of the object. So twig travels at a terminal speed before it hits the ground because the drag and weight forces are balanced before the twig hits the ground. Or basically the drag equals the weight force before it hits the ground. So the weight of the twig is 5 newtons. Write down the size of the drag when the twig reaches terminal speed. Well, this is such a simple question for one mark. Testing your understanding on knowing that the terminal speed is when the drag is equal to the weight. Therefore, if the weight is 5, the drag must also be 5 newtons. 3 marks in... A minute. And the last question asking about car safety reads, Jenny's car is fitted with an airbag. The car is involved in a crash. What does the airbag absorb in a crash? So for one mark, we know it absorbs the energy. And to confirm this, we've seen this section of the revision guide already. Over here where it reads, crumple zone, seatbelts, and airbags all change shape on impact to absorb energy. To get the one mark, we write absorbs the energy. So an airbag reduces the forces on the driver in a crash. Explain how. In your answer, write about the stopping time, acceleration, for three marks basically they're looking for three points of the higher tier material section and uh, we've seen this type of question before and to answer it, all they're basically looking for is these three bullet points here one mark for each bullet point mentioned the stopping forces experienced in a collision can be reduced by increasing the stopping or collision time and mentioning the increasing stopping or collision distance and also mentioning that it is decelerating these three points will get you to three marks